Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, let's look at using V cards with your email. So before we get into today's topic, I just want to talk a little bit more about MacMost and MacMost Now and how people find out about it. People find out through word of mouth. That means people like you blogging or tweeting or mentioning MacMost on Facebook. So I want to ask for your help. This week I've done five episodes of MacMost Now and in return I'd like to ask people to maybe talk about MacMost for a bit. So if you've got a small blog or perhaps you tweet a lot or you have a few friends on Facebook, just mention it to them and mention to them the iTunes podcast for MacMost and even the book. I've put a few suggestions of really quick, simple things you can do to help out MacBoast now at macbostcom slash help out. So I really appreciate it. Thanks. So if you want to send your contact information to somebody, you may do it by email. You may send them your phone number. Of course, they'll get your email address. But you could also send them a complete card. A V card is what it is. It's a little file and you can export it from address book attached to an email and when they get it, they can simply use that card to add you quickly to their address book or to a Windows contacts list. So here we are in address book and I've selected uh, contact. Let's select myself right there and I want to create a V card from this. Now a lot of things I can do. I can control or right click on it and use export V card. I can also with it selected select file export export V card or I can simply drag and drop to the finder to the desktop and create this vcard file here .vcf. Now in mail I can create a new message, send it to somebody, put some text in the body and I can also drag and drop this vcard file into the message. And now it's going to be an attachment to that email when they get it they'll see the attachment. Now I can skip some of those steps by simply dragging and dropping directly from the address book to mail. So I'll select this and delete it and now I will drag directly from address book into mail. And now it will skip the step of having it as a file in the finder and attach it to the email and send it to the person that I'm emailing. Now say I'm on the other end of this and I get an email from somebody and they've attached their vCard. It's right here. All I need to do is double click on it and it will open address book ask me to confirm whether or not I want to add the vCard to my address book and there it is. I could also of course drag this out to the desktop and another cool thing I could do is select it and use quick look just by pressing the space bar to view the contents without adding it to anything. Now you can use this for more than just your contact information. For instance say if you have a address book entry for a friend and you want to recommend that friend to somebody for a job you can simply attach their V card to an email send it to them and say hey here's the contact information of a friend of mine. You could also attach multiple vCards to an email. It's no problem with that. Just drag and drop several in there. Now vCards is a standard format so it should work with almost any kind of address book or contact software. It may not work as smoothly as you can on the Mac you know with quick look and with drag and drop and things like that but in general most operating systems and software will allow you to quickly take a vCard from email and add it to your address book. It doesn't matter what system you're on and it should be able to figure out the different fields, phone number, address, things like that and organize them into whatever the contact software is. The thing I like about vCards is you can send a ton of information. For instance, say if you're traveling somewhere and somebody's supposed to meet you at the airport, you can send them your vCard that's got your home phone number, your mobile phone number, perhaps a voicemail number, your email address, text messaging, all sorts of information that they would maybe not normally have if you just send them a quick email with just your mobile phone number. So that's a look at using the vCards along with Apple Mail. Hope you found it useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.